بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب زدني علما okay so the next thing we'll try to get into some media types transmission media types like i said uh, when we are connecting between between the devices we'll be using some kind of transmission media so when you're connecting between switch to switch or switch to computer or switch to router basically now there are different options to connect and this media basically this transmission media we call it as because this actually travels your uh, this this media is used to send the information between the networking devices now typically when we are doing the lan connection mostly in the lan connection we we can use any one of these medias to connect so we'll be using something called copper cables copper cables generally there are two types in copper we have something called coaxial cables and we have something called unshielded twisted pair cables these cables they come under copper now copper means again basically they use some electrical signals so the information or the data generally it will be like zeros and ones and how this binary data your computer understands this data is trans uh, transmitted either it can be sent in the form of electrical signals and that's what this copper wires will do so copper wires send the information in the form of electrical signals and whereas they can they may also go in the form of light signals so basically your fiber optic cables they they send your information in the form of light signals in if you're using a fiber optic cables for connections even you can uh, send this information without a wire in the form of radio frequency signals so if you're connecting your devices in the lan without any wire basically through wireless like as i said the wireless lan how they are connected so they will be you sending the information in the form of radio frequency signals similar to your mobile phones but again the frequencies used in the mobile phones or any other wireless devices will vary again so that is that is different again we'll talk more on this wireless as i said in a separate section so starting with uh, utp cables so utp are the most commonly used cables in the lan so when you are connecting your computer to a switch or whether you are connecting a switch to a router or between switch to switch the most commonly used cable is your utp cable so the default distance uh, it supports is 100 meters again it may vary 100 to 120 meters so the distance between these two devices should not be more than 100 meters any two devices it can be so when the when you are designing your network in a in an enterprise network you need to make sure that the distance between these two devices should not exceed 100 meters uh, or else you know after 100 meters again there is a possibility that your signal will drop or the or the inf- signals will drop and they may not communicate because these elect- these devices uses electrical signals as i said and these electrical signals are generally more uh, susceptible to interference uh, compared to light signals we use fiber cables generally for longer distances but 100 meters is okay you know within the lan 100 meters is not uh, uh, not a small distance even and and this cable can be of any of the types we have uh, straight or cross cables now straight or cross cables will be decided based on the alignment of the wire so if you if you open this utp wire the insulation on the top of it you'll find a uh, four different eight wires with four different colors basically this is the color combinations and depending upon how you insert this inside the jack so we call this as rj45 jack generally and depending upon the way you insert these wires it will behave either as a straight cable or a cross cable and depending upon uh, the straight or cross where they are used uh, it again depends like let's see uh, we have something like straight cable so if i am saying straight cable means now we call it as a straight cable so now straight cable indicates that let's say this is your wire this is my utp wire the and then the jack so inside this jack again you have pins so probably these eight pins we can say eight wires inserted now what is the order order of that So if I'm if I'm using this side, this order. So this is the order on the left side, white orange, and opposite also I'm using the same order. So this side white orange, 
and this side also white orange. The first pin on this side is white orange and this side white orange. And the second pin, if it is orange, white, green, blue, white, blue, these are the combination of colors. So in simple, you can, you can set in any order. Make sure that on both the sides, if it is in the same order, same color. You can see it's, a, it's a like the same parallel colors on both the sides. So generally, it refers as a straight cable. So it is referred as a straight cable. So it depends how you insert this jack, uh, how you insert these wires inside the jack. Basically, it makes you the straight cable. And generally, the straight cable is used to connect the dissimilar devices. Like if you're connecting a switch to router, we use a straight cable. A switch to PC, we use a straight cable. Like if you, are, if you take a LAN setup, so we'll be using a straight cable here and we'll be using straight cable here. And if you're connecting switch to switch, if you have one more switch here in my LAN, uh, of course, switch to switch is cross cable or uh, switch to server, switch to uh, hub to PC. These are hubs actually. So we call them as hubs. Diagrammatically, when you see this, we call them as switch. Hubs are not used nowadays. So basically you don't find hubs in today's networks. So we'll be using only switches. Uh, should we memorize the color coding of the cables? So basically, uh, interviews point of view, you technically need to know, but in the production point of view, basically this is not required because uh, nowadays uh, in today's networks, you know, whatever the cables you get, the devices basically, like I said, switch to switch, you need to use cross cable normally. And switch to PC, we use straight cable, but technically now the new devices which we use in production network, basically they, they are like, Automatically, they adjust the uh, three signals, you know, the new new cable types or the devices. They understand the signaling and they automatically adjust that. So basically, that's not required in general. But uh, technically, you know, this is like a foundation. You need to know the basic things. Like when you're doing crimping, let's say if you are doing some kind of crimping. Now crimping in the sense, when we, it, it's about how you, you know, So UTP cable crimping. So if you just search for this UTP cable crimping, crimping, you, you'll find some, uh, basically, of course, you'll find some screenshots as well. But I do recommend you some kind of videos. These are like the tools which you'll be using. And of course, this is like a LAN tester. You know. So you can just go through with this, like this is like a UTP cable, uh, CAT6. Again, in this, there are different categories. We have something like CAT5, you know, CAT6, CAT6E, you know. So they all looks the same, no difference, but depends upon the sign, the, depends upon some kind of extra insulation or the wires. Specifications will slightly vary. Based on that, the, the distance limits will vary. Like, like I can say, CAT5, let's say, supports 100 meters, maybe CAT6, or they support up to 120 meters, somewhat thicker, you know, the these things, these are the only differences, okay? So this is a cable type and this is, actually this is just an insulation. So you remove, uh, specifically, let me just speed up this. Okay, so basically this is your cable. And of course this is, this is what he's saying, remove the insulation. So this is your crimping tool. Crimping tool uh, allows you to cut or remove the insulation. And at the same time, uh, you can also use this. This is for just cutting down you know, this part, a cutter we can say. And then you need, this, these are the four pair of wires you see inside. And they are twisted. Twisted is actually, uh, why they are twisted again, this is to uh, reduce the external disturbance generally. So you cut down these extra wires and then you will be, uh, you, not, you need to make it straight, make them straight, of course. Okay, as it is, basically. And once you make them straight, of course, you, you don't really need that kind of marking, but this is something the way you do. And then you uh, insert the wires inside the RJ45 jack. Okay, so it depends how, the order order you insert. Like here, you can see the order, uh, whatever the order you're using, like this one, a white orange, orange, you know, white green, I think white, blue, blue, uh, white, green, blue, whatever the order, you know, just you need to remember this order one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, any order. But if you are inserting on the opposite side of the cable, the same order, it becomes a straight cable. Okay, so once you insert this jack, so 
and then probably you of course you generally see this jag so directly so normally you don't get these two separate parts you depends depends on the regions might be probably and then you need to use this crimping tool to uh, press those pins you know generally when you press those pins automatically the wire uh, will be fixed inside those pins and it will be like uh, uh, form even if you you know drag that and this is like a LAN tester LAN tester is just like to confirm whether my uh, signals are going from uh, from both the sides if there is any issue with the crimping or wiring you know or even if there is a faulty wire like in the production networks how we are going to test the connectivity between these two so let's assume that uh, this interface is not working and this switch is on the third floor or uh, maybe in the rack room and basically let's say uh, distance should not be 100 meters so let's assume this computer is on the third floor but on a different room and this wiring is completely done inside your you know ceilings generally or maybe through uh, under the floor when during the construction time when the generally when you uh, electricians when they do the wiring for the electrical wires they do this as well depending upon our requirement we have to uh, we have to figure out how many devices you connect so now you're not going to remove the wire and check so basically we'll be using this LAN tester on both the ends to do this to test this so so this is like a sample you can see the LAN tester and then of course you just power on that basically that that LEDs you know it's like a confirmation that it's working okay so it's all about uh, color coding so I, I recommend you to remember this is something uh, preferable order white orange orange white green blue white blue green white brown brown so basically this is the normal order UTP straight okay now cross how you remember is now cross is used for connecting uh, similar devices like switch to switch or switch to uh, switch to switch of course PC to PC similar devices or even if you're connecting PC to router directly we use a cross cable now PC to router means again the, the way they send the signals are similar now similar in the sense not uh, in terms of physical in terms of the way they send the signals so this is like similar devices similar devices so basically now how you identify the color color is simple wherever there is an orange replace the opposite side with green and green with orange so four colors you have to interchange which means here if you see i'm using white orange white green so opposite side will be white green white orange orange replaced with green opposite side and orange replaced with green only only orange is only green uh, white orange is with white green and then white green replaced with white orange opposite and green with orange so basically this these are the four whites you need to interchange now why we do that again these are actually transmitting signals and receiving signals so one is transmitting other one is receiving like the green one is transmitting and the orange one is the receiving signals 